be doing my February favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in a hot second. I think my last one was in November. And I've been making a list on my phone of things I definitely don't want to forget to share with you as my favorite these last few months. Um, I did have to leave a few out just because it was a little much, but these are my tried and true things that I've definitely been using quite a bit, at least the last two months, especially January and February, that I wanted to share with you. Most of it's makeup, some skincare, and also just some miscellaneous things that I'm absolutely loving. So first off, let's talk about a little bit of skincare. The first thing I want to give some major love to is Bioderma. I got this when I was at IMATS LA and Beautylish is now selling this um, to the US and they did have a big booth. It was really awesome how they did it of Bioderma. I've heard so many good things about this and I was like, mm, is it really worth the hype? I'm here to tell you it totally is. I have been using this kind of sparingly, but as you can see, I've already used a good deal of it. I use this mostly to remove eye makeup, but I have used it when I'm lazy to remove all my makeup as well. It's super gentle, it doesn't irritate my eyes, and it really does work like magic at removing waterproof mascara, liner, heavy duty foundation, it just does it all. And I wish that it was a little bit more accessible, like in stores, but it is a little bit more accessible now on beautylish.com. I will link it down below for you guys. I think it is sold out currently, but I'm sure there's a waiting list and that it will be back soon. And I have the um, 250 milliliter, but it, when I repurchase this, when this runs out, I'll be getting the big mamma jamma because this is awesome. Another like makeup removing or cleansing product that I've still been loving so much is the Colleen Rothschild Radiant Cleansing Balm. This stuff is amazing. Now it is a little bit more pricey, but if, if you're dry, this is going to be something you would absolutely love if you have dry skin. If you have any type of skin, I mean I have normal to oily, more combo skin and this works wonderful for me as well. But it's just, this is the full size, it's just like a balm consistency. You take a little bit, you don't need very much of this. Um, rub it between your fingers, it becomes more of like an oil almost, and you put that all over your skin. It melts everything off so wonderfully. Um, doesn't irritate my eyes, and it feels so hydrating on my skin as well. Like, my skin feels really great after I've used this. Ah, oh, and it smells like a spa. Like, oh, I can't explain it. It just smells like I'm at a spa. Like, not super floral or sweet, just like that calming maybe eucalyptus or something, just very calming oils in it. Definitely suggest this. I've gone through a baby size of this, like a sample size of it, but this baby is gonna last me forever because I've been using it for like two or three months now and it still looks like I haven't used any of it, so love it. Next is something that I've had for a while but I don't feel like I've ever talked about it with you guys. This is my day cream that I use every single morning. It's from Sephora. It's the eight hour mattifying moisturizer with sunscreen. I love this because it doesn't feel greasy on the skin, but it has an SPF of 20, um, which SPF is so important, but I hate a lot of them have that greasy feeling. They leave a residue on my skin. This doesn't at all, and it really is mattifying. Sinks in really quickly. Um, almost too quickly, like wherever you put it, it's gonna kind of stay. It's almost like that Murad mattifying primer lotion. Very similar, but much less expensive because it's Sephora brand. And it has a pump, which I really, really like. Um, so I've been using this for a while. I just thought I'd give that a quick mention. Another skincare goodie that I've been obsessed over and I use it every single morning, it's the Eye Duty Triple Remedy from First Aid Beauty. And the reason I love this, it is an eye cream, but it's also more of like a treatment to cancel out discoloration under the eye and really smooth everything out. It is fragrance free and allergy tested. It's really good for anyone with sensitivity. And this has a metal tip to it. You squeeze out the product, it's a salmon-y color. Let me see if you'll be able to see it on my hand. I might have to do a close up. But it is more of a salmon coloring, so it really cancels out darkness and gives a little bit of a highlight under the eyes before I even put concealer on. And if I'm doing a really natural makeup look, sometimes I don't even wear concealer and I'll just throw this on and run out the door. If it, that rarely happens where I don't put on makeup. <laughs> but if I were to, I definitely could just use this and already cancel out some of the darkness under my eyes. I don't get enough sleep. So this really, really helps out. I love it. 
And the uh, metal applicator is really nice and cooling. It depuffs the eyes as well. You could leave this in the fridge and it'd be like mega depuffing. And to makeup, I have two foundations that I've been loving, loving the last month or so. The first is the Cover Effects BB Gel. I am a Cover Effects ambassador now. Um, if you watched my contour and highlight video, I announced that there. Or if you watched my vlogs, you would know from that. I feel so, so honored to be an ambassador for them and be able to review new products for you guys. There's a lot of new exciting things that will be coming out this year with Cover Effects. But this product was a big holy grail for me last year during the summer, and I recently re-pulled it out and have been obsessed with it. You do need to make sure to shake it, because it is a very thin formula and it may separate if you don't shake it. I just make sure to do that. And I am in the shade Neutral Light. When this first comes out, I also want to give you a little tidbit. It looks darker than when you massage it into the skin, it actually gets lighter. So just keep that in mind if you swatch it at Sephora and you're like, oh, that's really dark. Massage it into your hand and that will be the true color. Um, also, I love that this really does mattify my skin. I've been actually using this as a primer underneath this Maybelline Matte and Poreless, which I'll talk about in a second. Not that this doesn't give coverage, it does, but I like a little bit more full coverage, so that's why I've been layering the two foundations. Another tip I want to give with this product is that you need to work kind of quickly with it. You can't just let it sit on your skin because it will just stay there, which is awesome for once it's done on, and on your face, it's not going to move the whole day long. But I like to make sure to quickly work it in with my beauty blender or a brush or even my fingers. and. After that, it's absolutely beautiful and it lasts me all day. I love it. And like I said, I've also been using the Maybelline Fit Me, the new matte and poreless formula. I love this. I did a full review on it, which I will have linked down below. It gives me a beautiful finish. I have both of these on today in combination with each other. I am in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. Only thing I don't like about this is that it's a pouring spout does not have a pump, so that can be kind of annoying, but otherwise it's absolutely beautiful and I love it. I also have another Cover FX product this month that I have been using so much. I do have it on my face right now. It's their new Cream Contour Kits. I am in the shade N Light, and it has two highlights, two bronzers, absolutely beautiful natural contour. Um, you can build it up to maybe be a little bit more of a Kim K kind of contour, but I personally like a little bit more of a natural, just more defined look, and this is what it gives me. Mine's a little messy, sorry, because I have been using it quite a bit. I do have a full cream contour and highlight video demoing this product and giving more information on it. I will say that the formula is so creamy and easily blended. It's one of the best formulas I've ever used for cream contour. I like it even more than my Tan de Chanel or Tan de Soleil from Chanel. This one blends like a dream. Love, love, love it. And I really love this new cream highlights here in Moonlight. You guys know how much I love the powder highlight. This is just as beautiful, but even more natural because it gives, you know, it's a cream, so it just blends like instantly into the skin. I also really love that this comes in six universal shades. So pretty much any of you can wear one of these contour kits and get an amazing look. I'm gonna stop talking about it because I do kind of rant and rave about it because I love it. But if you wanna see a full review and demo, I'll link the video down below. Speaking of highlights, I'm a little late on this bandwagon, but I still wanted to mention it because I've been using it a ton this month. It's the Bombs Mary Luminizer. I got this off of Outlook, and which is just like a flash sale site. If you haven't heard of it, I have it linked down below. This I do have on my cheekbones today. Whoa! You guys know how much I love that gorgeous like BAM highlight, and that's what this gives me. Um, it is more of like a champagne, almost yellow toned highlight, so if you are very fair, I think this will be too dark for you because it's almost too dark for me. And it's so pigmented and creamy though, you do not need very much of this. Like I lightly dab my brush in it and I get a ton of glow. Look at that. Oh my goodness, lordy lordy, that's gorgeous. So if you are looking for a pretty inexpensive, I think this was $10 on sale, definitely check out Outlook and keep an eye out for the Bomb Cosmetics as they always have them on that flash sale site and this is gorgeous. I have a lot of blush favorites to share with you guys, which probably won't come as a shock because I am blush and lip product crazy. I just can't help myself. The first one was something I purchased at IMATS. I'm not sure if they have their site up and running yet. 
I re looked like a couple weeks ago and it wasn't up yet. But this is from the brand Hot Makeup and it is in the shade Galaxy Season. <sighs> Let's take a moment. It is so glowy and absolutely beautiful. Very creamy, very pigmented. You need the smallest amount. It's sort of like orgasm, but better. I like it way better. It's more on the pink side than, than orgasm. Oh my gosh. Way, I think it's more pigmented even too. And again, oh my goodness, so beautiful. Blends like a dream. I definitely want to try more from this makeup brand because I, I just love them. I wish I had picked up more than just one blush and eye mask. I also want to mention this blush palette. I'm sorry it is sold out, but if you have it, I just want to remind you to bring it out and use it. It's the Pantone and Sephora palette from the color of the year, Marsala. It's called the Shimmering Marsala Cheek Trio. has rose gold packaging. I'm sorry, I'm kind of blinding you. And then it has a beautiful highlight, a, pe a peachy blush, and then the Marsala blush. Now, really, the thing that stands out to me in this in this palette is the Marsala blush. Oh my goodness, it's absolutely stunning on so many different skin tones. Um, even if you're fair complected, don't be scared to use this kind of coloring. Just use it very sparingly, but it gives you the most beautiful, natural, just got out of the you know winter snow look to your cheeks. This highlight's absolutely gorgeous as well, which I believe it's very similar to the palette from last year. Um, the color of the year palette from last year, but if you have this, pull it out. And last blush favorite is from Charlotte Tilbury. Thank you to Miss Lola Lynn, my friend Laura. She was so gracious and kind to give me this as a gift when I saw her at IMATS. And I'm so thankful, Laura. Thank you, because I love, love, love this. I have it on today. And it's the Cheek to Cheek Blushes, and this is in Love Glow. It is so beautiful. So it does have kind of two different tones. A pinkier shade in the center that's a matte blush and then a glowy, more um, corally pink around the center. I swirl my whole brush in it and sleep it on. You can concentrate it, you know, in specific areas of your face. I don't. I just swirl it all around. Can you tell I'm really loving these like pinky peachy glowy blushes like these are kind of in the same family I would say but I absolutely love the glow it gives my cheeks um, I mean you're seeing highlight and the blush but if I just wanted a fast glowy look I would just grab for this without a highlight it's so beautiful okay now let's get into some lip products my other favorite category <laughs> First, I want to talk about some new NYX lippies that I have been loving. I did reviews on both of these. I'll link those down below as well with lip swatches. One that I've been wearing a lot from the new Intense Butter Glosses is the color Thres Leches. And it's just a beautiful, deeper nude. I'll swatch it for you. These have super high pigments and they last really, really well for me. And they, they are a thicker consistency but they still real, really feel good on the lips too, so I love that. And then I've also been really into the high voltage lipsticks from them. I really love the colors Flutter Kiss and Tierra. Flutter Kiss is that same kind of color family, you're gonna see a trend here. That brownie, mauve deeper nude, I've really been into that, it's that 90s kind of lip, I know everyone hates when, when people say that here on YouTube, but it's true, it really is that 90s lip. These are not quite as pigmented as the glosses, but they still have, I mean, they have great pigment, but you have to do a couple swipes to get that kind of color right there. They feel awesome on the lips. Um, almost like a gelish kind of formula that conforms to your lips a little bit more. Um, I do sometimes have an issue with it not staying in the inner rims of my lips, so that's kind of like, uh, annoying. Otherwise, I really love them. Tierra is more of like a true pink peachy pink. Another lip that I have worn a ton, especially in January and early February, was the Bite Beauty Lipstick and Pepper. This is definitely the color of the year, very close to the Marsala color. These are so creamy that they kind of break and bend, so that's the only issue I have with Bite Beauty. I absolutely love how, how it feels on my lips. It's so moisturizing and they stay pretty well. These all look the same, <laughs> but it's really, really beautiful. And then last but not least is what I have on my lips. I do have a gloss on top of it though. 
but it's the Lime Crime Velveteen Lip in Cashmere. I've talked about this a lot on my vlogs. Wore it a lot on videos this month too, so it's not a stranger in my videos. I had to show you the packaging though, like look how cute that is. Lime Crime, you just know how to sucker me in with the cute packaging. It's even on the lid here. This is such a fun, unique, deep kind of taupey color for the lips. However, the Velveteens do dry out my lips like crazy. So I'm usually wearing this with a gloss on top and then it wears so, so well for me. And once it sets, it's not going anywhere. Um, it's right here. So these are definitely very long wearing and I really think it's such a unique and fun color to wear. If you're wondering what I have on top of it, I have a Bite Beauty lip gloss in Honey. My makeup favorite is the Lorac Unzipped Palette. I just recently purchased it at IMATS. I can't believe it took me so long to finally bite the bullet and get this. Um, but I got it for only $25 at IMATS, so that was like a smoking deal. These colors, oh my goodness. I've been using this palette non-stop for the last week and like week or two. I've been comparing this to the new Lorac Unzipped Gold palette as well, and I will have a full comparison review up this week. I think I'll be up on Friday. But these colors are just so pigmented, creamy, beautiful, right up my alley. As you can see, they're very rose gold, mauvey shades. Love, love, love them. I don't have it on my eyes today. Don't ask me why I did that, but it's really, really gorgeous palette, and I definitely suggest this. I also wanted to mention a few Sigma brushes that I've been loving. I am an affiliate with them now, but I've been using their brushes for years, probably like two years now. And most of them, I'd say there's one or two that I wasn't like thrilled with, but most of them I really love and enjoy and use a lot. This one in particular I wanted to mention because someone had recently asked me what I use for my highlights. And it's this brush. I use this almost every single day for my highlight. And it's the Tapered Highlighter F35. Like the name says, it's tapered to a point. It's really nice and little, so it gets right in that area. It's just perfect. Love, love, love that. And then these are two new babies I have been trying out and wanted to do a little bit of a review on, but I figured I'd just throw them here in my favorites since I've been loving them. And these are the new 3D HD Kabuki and then the 3D HD Precision. Now, I don't use these for foundation <laughs> or concealer. So I know that's what their purpose is for. I've used them with foundation. I'd rather use my F80 from Sigma. Um, I do like that it's, it's slanted, I should show you. So it's kind of like in a little triangle, like there's two different sides that are slanted. Sorry if it's a little dirty, I did use it today. Um, so you can get really into like the contours of your face, which is why I decided to try using it as my cream contour brush. And I've been loving it for that. This little angle right here, is perfect to get right into my contour. So I've been using this to place it and then blend it upwards. It's absolutely perfect. Perfect, perfect for contour. So if you are getting into cream contour, I would definitely suggest this brush. It also comes in a cute pink handle and I think a rose gold now too, but I just have it in the plain black. This brush was probably my most favorite, my most new favorite out of all three brushes because I like using this to do more detailed work on my face. I don't contour my nose very often, but if I do, this is perfect for it. Again, using that little slanted area to blend it out. Or, thanks to Shades of Cassie for suggesting this use, but I use it to sculpt out my brows with my highlight, which I usually use this, it's such so messy, sorry. This Anastasia of Beverly Hills little highlight duo. So I use the matte side and I just trace it and then I use this and I just blend it and it's just so perfect to sculpt my brows. Okay, now on to some random favorites. The first are these adorable mugs from Target. I don't think you can get them anymore, possibly on sale. They are from Valentine's Day and I just absolutely love them. They were only like $2.99. The first one I have is Espresso Your Love and it has a little espresso heart in the inside. So cute and they're like a ceramic material so they're really durable and then this one a subscriber sent me thank you so much I had been looking all over for this and someone very sweet sent me this it is the donut ever let me go mug and it has a little donut inside is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen I love that and a food favorite for the month you're not gonna be shocked if you watch my vlogs 
mango, <laughs> dried mango that's unsweetened and unsulfured from Trader Joe's. So it's just mango, really is, that's the name of it and that's what it is and it tastes so good. Oh my gosh, where has this been all my life? I eat this all the time. I just bought three packs of it at Trader Joe's today because I stock up on it. And last favorite is the 50 Shades of Grey soundtrack. I'm obsessed with that soundtrack. I love it. I have it on repeat for the last two weeks, ever since it came out. So I think that was about two weeks ago. And I usually just play it from my phone, but I have it in my car too. I love it so much. And I did go see the 50 Shades of Grey movie. I did really enjoy it. I would even see it again. I thought it was really hot. I thought it was good. There's a little bit of controversy about the subject matter, so I don't want to go too much into it, but I really did enjoy it. And if you're thinking about going to see it, I would. Okay guys, so those are all my February favorites. I know this might have been a little lengthy, but like I said before, it's been a while since I've done a favorites. But I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you again real soon. Bye.